we got down there and we noticed we were uh, a little low on supplies, so we made a couple phone calls to our moms, and they went to uh, one of our sponsors, Marks Outdoors, and got some of the things that we needed, and we met up with them uh, that evening and went out there the next day, and we uh, started putting together a game plan. Yes. So, Lawson, you're part of the winning state championship team. I understand there's no classifications in high school fishing in Alabama. You, you went up against all schools, right? Mm-hmm. That didn't make you pretty proud when you guys pulled out the big trophy, huh? Yeah, because we fished like a bunch of a lot of good schools, and sometimes we have bad tournaments, sometimes we have good tournaments, and it's just hard to compete against all of them. All right, I'm with Common High School Fishing Coach Kyle Morris. Kyle, you guys won the state tournament back in June. You came down here, got a resolution from the city council acknowledging it, got to show off the trophy. This is an amazing feat, isn't it? Well, it really is. We started the team about four years ago, and from the beginning we had six members, and four of those members were seniors that year. So it's been a slow building process, kind of building it back into what it is now. And this year we had 24 members on the team, and of that we had two six-man teams, which is what you compete for in a state championship in bass fishing. So when we took the six-man teams to Lake uh, Smith Lake in March of the year, our six-man team, first six-man team, won the tournament for Smith Lake. So they took that to qualify into the state championship. And uh, Lake, you follow us somewhere we'd had success in the past. Lawson Graves and Cam Glasscock two years ago in the state championship tournament had finished sixth down there. So it's somewhere we had a little familiarity with. So I was excited about getting a six-man team into the state championship, which we'd been unable to do the two previous years. Well, you didn't just get them in there. You got them in and they, they tore it up. You most assuredly. These kids deserve all the credit. They do the work. I'm a paper pusher. All I do is get the paperwork lined up and get them pointed in the right direction. And, and what was that game plan? I mean, I mean what do you think about Because Lake you fall, you've never been on that lake before, right? No, sir. We, uh, that game plan, we were fishing some uh, grass and we were throwing uh, swim jigs in the grass and uh, the way the water was up at the time those fish would push up in the grass during the mornings and they would still be there in the daytime um, but sometimes they would push out to the ledges so we would throw jigs on the ledges. Now is it true that you have your own fully decked out bass boat? I do. How, have you been working since you're like an infant to pay for that? How'd that happen? Parents. Nice. <laughs> so what else? You guys are underclassmen. You're all coming back again this year to defend the title, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it takes passion, effort, and a lot of drive to be able to be successful in anything, and that's what these kids have. You know, it's one of those things, when you look on the weekends, these kids are always on a lake somewhere fishing, honing their craft. Well, now, how do you identify who's going to be on the fishing team? Do you go out and recruit? I mean, uh, that, that seems like a mystery to me. Well, most times kids find out you can get out of school to go fish and they come to you. And then it kind of weans its way down when they find out they've got to go at 4 a.m. and drive halfway across the state. So one of the things we do is we get kids on the team and see how they compete in some of our qualifier tournaments. We're just with each other and going out and fishing local lakes. And we also can put them in situations where they fish local tournaments uh, with adults and things like that. And once that kind of plays itself out, you get a group of guys that have some comfort with each other and you start building your team that way. How do you practice? I mean, how does that go on a daily basis? We go out before the tournaments, we figure out a game plan, tell them what we think they'll buy and just go fishing and then go throughout the day, try and figure out at the end of the day what we need to do during the tournament. So you're able to adapt the game plan, so to speak, as you go along. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go like you think, you switch it out and do something else. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, you know, back when I was in high school in 1937, we didn't have fishing teams. There was no such thing. This seems like a, a new phenomenon. What, how's this coming about? Fishing in a school sense really started in the early 2000s with colleges bouncing around. Uh, mm -hmm. And that grew and grew and grew. And then by the early 2010s, which I'm still not sure how you say that yet, but the early 2010s, it had grown into a high school sport. So when you start looking at 2012, 2013, schools across the state of Alabama had started producing teams. There were about 60 teams when we started in 2012, 2013, and now over 60% of the high schools in Alabama have uh, fishing teams in some shape, form, or manner. 
Not all of them are recognized by the school. Some of them have to participate as community organizations because they don't have the kind of support we have with our school system and city who really support us. Well, I think that support here locally in Coleman must be instrumental in this whole thing. You couldn't do this on your own. Uh, tell me about the principal and the school system behind you. Well, the best part about being from Coleman and being in Coleman is that if you're going to put a C on your chest, people are going to support you. And uh, my principal, Ms. Kim Hall, our assistant principals, Jake Johnson, Mark Stevens, Aaron Sparks, have been instrumental in making sure that we have everything we need to be successful, whether it be excuses for travel days, getting us into a seventh period class, just like a normal athletics period, so we can get these guys on the water earlier in the days. Whatever it takes for us to be successful, they do that. And the school board's been great too. Dr. Patterson and the entire board has done a great job ensuring that we're treated just like any other sport. Resolution of uh, combination <clears throat> that whereas the Pullman High School Bearcat Fishing Team led by Coach Kyle Morris capped off their 2017 campaign by winning the Alabama Bass Nation High School Championship at Lake Ufala on June 9th and 10th, 2017, whereas the team represented Coleman High School very well during the two-day state championship event and succeeded in bringing home their first ever state championship, and whereas a special accommodation is due to Coach Morris, team sponsors, and support staff, and the following team members, Lawson Graves, Keaton Kinney, Cameron Glasscock, Cy Lambert, David Doolin, and Houston Smith. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and the council of the city of Pullman, on behalf of our citizens, do hereby offer this commendation as an expression of our pride in the good sportsmanship, remarkable skill, and hard work, and outstanding achievements of the 2017 Pullman High School Bearcat Fishing Team. Congratulations.